and welcome to today's YouTube episode. On today's sewing adventure, I'm going to be talking you through 10 different ways to wear my latest make, the Paper Cut Patterns Solar Tee. So let's get started. So I am currently making the Paper Cut Patterns Solar Tee and here it is here. It is made from this gorgeous jersey fabric. It is a tinsel jersey fabric. It is black. It is super lovely. I haven't quite finished this one yet. I have to sew the underneath of the sleeve together, obviously the side seam, and then I need to do the hem on the cuff and the hem around the waist as well. And then it will be finished. So as I said, I haven't quite finished this make. I'm currently pinning the seams that I just told you about before, the sleeve under the sleeve and the side seam so that I can get ready to sew them. But while I've been making this, I've been doing quite a lot of thinking. And the first thing I was thinking about was what I could make from the scraps. So I'm definitely going to be making some Stevie knickers with the scraps. And I'm also going to be making a True Bias Zoe tank as well. When I bought this piece of fabric, I bought a remnant piece, so it was slightly more than what I needed, but I'm actually really excited because I will be able to make things using the scraps, so that's worked out really well. The second thing I've been thinking about while I've been making this, and this is the inspiration behind today's YouTube clip, was what I'm going to wear this top with, because obviously a black top is such a wardrobe staple, and if you watched my last YouTube episode, you'll know that I was talking about having more kind of basics in my wardrobe, so that's exactly what this is. So I was thinking about all the things I could wear this with, and then I thought, oh, that could be this week's YouTube clip, and I could show you all of those outfits. So that is what I'm going to do straight after I finish making this one. So that's really good. And I've started getting those um, items ready to partner up with this top. And here it is. This is the finished Paper Cut Patterns Long Sleeve Solar Tee. So, just have a look at it. I've used the Little Rosy Cheeks I Am Unique label. You can see it's got the lovely shoulder ruffles as well. So, it's just basically a plain black t-shirt. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to try it on with 10 different outfits and show you what I can come up with. So this is outfit number one, and this is with the Merchant & Mills Heroin Jeans. So this is my latest jeans that I've made, and I really like this outfit combination. It is super simple. Both of these are wardrobe staples, but I am really pleased with how this looks. I've obviously tucked the t-shirt in, and it is a simple outfit, but it is a really good outfit that I could wear to lots of different occasions, events, or even to work if I wanted to. So really pleased with this first outfit number one. Now this is a continuation of outfit number one. This is the heroin jeans, obviously the solar tee, with the new craft house everyday waistcoat. So this is just a little added extra layer. Still outfit number one, but just something a little bit nicer and a little bit warmer to wear on top. So this is outfit number two, and as you can see I am sticking with the jeans theme, but this is a combination that I was thinking of when I was sewing this outfit. So these are the Megan Nelson Ash jeans, obviously they are in a green stretch denim, and this time I haven't tucked the t-shirt in just for a slightly different look, and I really like this, this is super comfortable, I could see myself wearing this, and this is one outfit number two. So, as you can see, outfit number three is me wearing the Solar Tee with the Friday Pattern Company Saltwater Slip Dress. And it is quite difficult for me, because I don't like the cold, <laughs> to wear the saltwater slip dress in the winter, but this is a really good solution, because obviously I've got a really cosy layer of the long sleeve t-shirt underneath the saltwater slip, and it's black and white, so it coordinates nicely, and it just means that I can wear this one in the winter if I want to. So this is the full outfit, and this was combination number three. Outfit number four is this. It is the t-shirt with the Sabina skirt. Now the Sabina skirt is a fantastic skirt pattern by the little pomegranate, 
and it is a free pattern that you can get online. So this is combination number four, super bright, super colourful and obviously nice and cosy with leggings and boots for the winter as well. And as a little bonus to the last outfit, I also made an Ogden cami from True Bias out of the same fabric as the Sabina skirt, so I've decided to put that on as well, just for another variation of outfit number four. I think it looks all right. <laughs> it looks nice and cosy, so it's nice and bright, but also nice and cosy too. So, outfit number five, we're halfway there, <laughs> and this is the Goldfinch Textile Studio Jones trousers that I'm wearing with the t-shirt this time I've got them tucked in I think it looks it's super lovely it's super warm which is fantastic as well at this time of year and these are a relaxed style trouser I made them this lovely gorgeous blue color and I got this fabric from Sew Me Sunshine it is the Robert Coffin cotton drill fabric so this is outfit number five now in outfit number six, I am wearing the top over a dress. So this is the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra shirt dress. And I have put the t-shirt on and I have done a little tie at the side. So it's a little tie like this. And I'm wearing it as a layer over the top. And I like the way that it sits here. The collar just kind of sits over the t-shirt, which I think is quite cute. And it's just giving me a little bit of extra warmth, which is fantastic. I love wearing this Lara, this Lara dress rather, I do wear it a lot and I can see myself wearing this outfit combination. I think it is super lovely and warm. <laughs> so now we're up to outfit number seven and this is outfit number seven. It is the Made My Wardrobe Greta Dungarees, obviously over the t-shirt. So the, these dungarees is a wonderful pattern as you can see it's got a waist tie, they're really roomy, really comfortable, they've got really big pockets where you can put all your things in and I really enjoy wearing dungarees. So this is obviously one of the combinations I thought of when I was sewing the top and this is number seven. So outfit eight is the t-shirt underneath the Tilly and the Buttons Cleo dungaree dress. So this is a combination I wear a lot in the winter time. I'm also wearing it with leggings. I love wearing the Cleo dungaree dress. It's so easy and comfortable to wear and I find it's good in pretty much every situation. So I've put this one under here and I think it looks really lovely and it's good for winter. It's a nice dark color. This one is made in this rifle paper canvas fabric. So really lovely floral and kind of brightens up the darkness of the black of the top. So outfit number nine, we are almost there. This is the second to last outfit obviously and I am wearing the top tucked into the Tilly and the Buttons Ness skirt. So this is a denim skirt, it's made from a stretch denim. I made it quite a while ago. I really enjoy wearing this one and I think that with the black t-shirt tucked into it, it does look really lovely. And again, it's just a really simple outfit that I could imagine myself wearing to lots of different places and just being comfortable and being able to do lots of things. So <laughs> this is outfit number nine and I am almost there. And this brings us to outfit number 10, the last outfit. So outfit number 10 is the Friday Pattern Company Saturday skirt set, just the skirt. So what I've done is I've tucked it in and this is a lovely long skirt, you should be able to see a picture of it. And it is really nice because obviously this fabric's got kind of a black base to the floral. So that kind of comes out, gets picked up in this, in the top. Um, so I think that that's a really lovely combination and again it's super cosy wearing long skirts in the winter um, especially with something tucked in I find that's a really um, warm thing to do and obviously with leggings and boots again so I think that that will be a really nice kind of bright splash of colour in winter that I can have and I think that that looks like a really lovely outfit as well. So that is it for today's YouTube episode. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all of those different outfit combinations. We had jeans, we had denim skirts, we had other skirts, we had top over a dress, we had it 
and the dungarees and dungaree dresses so we did cover quite a lot of ground with this episode so I really hope you enjoyed that if you did have a favorite combination that you wanted to let me know about you wanted to let me know about rather let me know about it in the comments box below I love hearing what you've got to say and all of your wonderful kind comments are really much appreciated by me if you could like this clip, then I would really love that as well. That would be very much appreciated. And also, if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, if you haven't done that already, then that would be really wonderful too. I hope you have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is for you, and I'll see you here again soon.